I have waited one hour because I couldn't have said anything and all that I could have said was word of frustration, word of anger, words of, you know, I believe today we deserve to win the game. I believe today we won the game, but some changes, some decisions, some errors have costed the game. Uh, I might sound, you know, delusional or my controversial or whatever, but whatever I'm going to say today, I believe is the right thing. And I believe that's when we lost the game, even before we lost it, if that makes sense. Uh, Manchester United were playing very good football. That was to defend and counter-attack, defend, counter-attack, defend and counter-attack. Uh, the kid Garnacho really played well. Garnacho really, really played well. well. Uh, well, the game, uh, he created or passed all their goals, if I'm not wrong. Uh, I think there's only one that Mkhtabane passed to Rashford, and that was a mistake from uh, Darwin Nunes. But all the other three goals, he was directly involved in them. Um, and that's where players that Jürgen Klopp couldn't stop because they understood that uh, um, first half uh, Gomez and... Uh, Kwanza will not have the game, you know, understanding that uh, Roboton and Van Dijk have, so that's where they were targeting. Uh, secondly, you know, uh, when young Bradley came on, you know, he played well, he was able to manage him, but, you know, eventually they couldn't. Uh, so let me divide the game into three parts. First part is Manchester United, and which I've already talked about. Uh, second part is the Liverpool were winning the game. Liverpool would have won the game 90 minutes, but what happened? What cost it? And secondly, why some players do not deserve to come on, especially big games? That's another thing that I really want to talk about because I kept quiet and I don't want to be that person who criticizes his, his own player, especially after a defeat where we need to stick together, you know, for the next. Let me say this. Today, even though uh, uh, Dominic Soboslai was not on his best, he was playing well. He was defending, he was attacking, he was involved in the game. And you could have seen that Dominic Soboslai was playing well. Secondly, Mo Salah kept Manchester United defenders on toes. They didn't know where, and where the danger is because when Mo Salah is there, you always know there's, there's a danger, like there's that presence of danger in there. But what happened? He took the Two of them, okay, it's fine. He kept um, David Nunes, who had one of his worst games in that in that shot, man, Liverpool shot, which who he should have taken it even after half time. I was thinking he would have taken him off, but after we scored those two two quick goals, he didn't take it. What happened is that after Manchester United realized that Mosal has been taken off, that means the danger has been taken off. So what happened is that uh, Bruno Fernandes was called to the technical side and he was told, attack. The Manchester United started attacking and started playing football. And, you know, Liverpool are not playing their main defence. Kelha, Kwanza, Gomez, they're not the first team defence. So when you put pressure on them, like constant pressure, and young Bradley, by the way, if you put them constant pressure, they may crumble. But what happened is that Manchester United specifically targeted the side of Kwanzaa and um, Kwanzaa made a mistake. I think mistake that led to Anthony's goal, he will have, no, there was a mistake he made, but I think either Kel has saved or it led to some goal. But all in all, they were targeting that side, right? What happened is that Jochen Klopp could have solved that, keeping uh, robots on in ground and, you know, he could have done something about it, right? He didn't, but he took the threat out of the game. He brought Gakbo, who doesn't deserve to come on big games. I will say this. I said in Manchester City's game, I'm saying this. Gakbo plays football. I'm not going to call him out like um, uh, Jimmy Carragher and others are calling him out on Twitter, and which is super, super wrong. But Gakbo deserves to play or understanding, you know, he needs to be trained the Liverpool way. And he shouldn't have taken Mo Salah for Gakbo. 
because Bo Salah, if even if he was bringing Gakbo, he should have taken Diaz it's because Diaz and Gakbo, when especially since he's good at playing on right wing, Gakbo that's where he is good at playing, or even if Darwin Nunes will have gone to the right wing, sorry the left wing, uh, it would have been something. But he took Mo Salah, the only right uh, right wing that threat that we have. The, uh, ch ch uh, I don't think taking um, McAllister or, you know, Endo will have made sense. So bringing Endo uh, and Javi Elliott for Dominic Sopos, like we, wouldn't, we, sh we, didn't feel, we didn't feel it that much, but we really felt the absence of Mo Salah that game. But on the other side, Manchester United brought two, two players who were directly involved in the game, game-changing goals. One, that... Um, uh, Brazilian goal, a guy who has never who has scored one goal since the season started, and he started started scoring again. And now all Manchester United fans are making noise. And Manchester United were making noise even before the game started, and they were saying, "Oh, we're gonna beat Manchester United." All other players were posting, especially McGoldrick and their McGoldrick and the rest were posting it on Friday. But now they will say, "Oh, I told you, I did this. I said this," and you know, and that's seventy-eight five on two. Chance that Gakhbo missed, I couldn't pass, you know. That, you know, you see when you start looking at the game, you start feeling, you know, we could have fun. All in all, you know, this game, uh, it's not the end of the day. Uh, we are out of one cup. We still, we won one. We're still fighting for two. Uh, hopefully, you know, uh, Jürgen Club does not make this kind of uh, rush substitutions because I felt, I was also feeling, I was also feeling, okay, this game is in the bag. You know, let's focus on the next one. Um, but we were all wrong. And I felt he also felt the same. Uh, he was thinking, okay, this game is in the bag. And, you know, even after we were... after Even after extra time, you know, he took off Diaz and brought uh, Bobby Clark. It's either he didn't care about the end result or, you know, he thought, you know, ah, they can manage, you know. But or also he made crumble under the pressure sometimes, you know, it's understandable. So what do you guys think? Uh, do you guys agree with me? Do you guys disagree? You know, what, what's your opinion? What do you guys think? Uh, please, uh, that's my end of my game. Uh, um, um, rumbling of the game, you know. Um, I want to say something. Endo and McAllister, you know, they are one of... Bargains of the season, you know. And um, McLaster has five, six goals and five assists. And he, we just bought him for, you know. And, you know, he doesn't get the respect he deserves. So, he deserves. So, yeah. So many things are happening. So many things are good. And others, you know, are just there. So, uh, let me know what you guys think. What do you, How do you guys see the game? Did you guys feel the same as me? Uh, and if you're new around, please don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. So, take care of yourselves. Peace.